Nobody really wants to spend an extra thousand bucks on an upgraded phone when they have a phone that basically looks identical, right? Well, we may be wrong. With each and every update to the Fold, we have seen and experienced an improvement for those that are in note-taking and digital planning. And today, guys, I'm gonna show you some of the latest updates to the Fold 5 that might just make it worth that update. So stay with me. When I first saw the release of the Fold 5 and I was contemplating, do I make this upgrade? All the things that registered in my mind were like, oh, the screen, the front screen, it's still not wider. And I was like, come on, Samsung, I'm like, bring it together, right? And I thought, well, could we make it a little bit thinner? And could we do something where maybe the pen was in the inside of the device? And all these things kind of like chalked up to this, like, ah, this Fold 5 really isn't worth it. Well, then it was delivered, and I started to look at this device and my Fold 4, and I started to use it, and I started to think of all the slight modifications and improvements. I teach everyone that I work with with our planner that each and every week, as you make improvements in your life, it's not about taking big leaps, but making minor adjustments in how you perform your daily activities so you can reach new heights. Those 1% adjustments are going to level you up week after week after week. And I think that's what we have to look at when it comes to the Fold 5. So we're not gonna jump into all the tech specs and talk about if this or this makes this better than that or that, but we're gonna talk about how the slight adjustments can help improve your productivity and maximize your return from this recent investment. Now, if you're updating from a three or a two, the five is obviously no brainer, but if you're going from a four to a five, which is what we're gonna compare here, you're gonna see those slight modifications. And first off, we're gonna talk about the overall form factor. Now, when I hold both of these devices in my hand, weight and distribution of, of the device itself seems pretty comparable until I start to look at the device over and look at the backside. Now, in both of these cases, I'm showcasing these devices utilizing the S Pen. Now, this case here, you can see is slightly thinner because it doesn't have the bulk of last year's S Pen. Now, if I take out last year's S Pen that came with the four and I pop out the one that comes with the five, we're gonna notice some huge differences in this device. Now, overall length, as you can tell, the Fold 5's pen is a little bit shorter. It's definitely thinner. It has a flat surface. This is gonna make sure it doesn't roll on the table. Now, we had that with the four as well by having one thin edge where you found your button, you're gonna find that same button here on the S Pen for the Fold 5. But what makes it really unique and different is with this case, it tucks in and you can easily pull that out like this and put on a different holder or different or leave it off entirely. But with this case that you can get from Samsung is this pen tucks right into here. And what that's gonna allow you to do, especially when you're putting this in your pocket or laying on the table, this lays nice and flat. This has a bulge to it. And that's one thing I really hated about this device is I'd put this in my pocket and have like this pencil running down the side of my leg. Or if I was wearing shorts, it just seemed bulky. Now, granted, we are looking at a foldable phone that is generally bulkier than most uh, smartphones out there. But this improvement alone definitely makes this device something you're going to appreciate when it's on your carry. Now, the consequence of this is this pen. We had to sacrifice the overall look and feel of this S Pen versus the Fold 4, which we just talked about. But utilizing this pen, you're gonna see that there's not much of a difference when it comes to the user performance. One thing I wanna note, this is a mobile device. This is not your tablet or your desktop. So you have to think about ease and mobility when you're looking at this particular S Pen and this particular device in general. The last thing I wanna to note to you is now that this device here actually folds flat. Now, I think with this hinge improvement, we're gonna see an improvement actually in the device itself. But let's look at the Fold 4 first. Now, I opened up this device and I went to my home screen. I could noticeably, when I ran my S Pen across the device itself, I not only could see, but I could feel the indentation of that fold when I was writing. Now, when this technology was first introduced in the Fold 3, you were able to draw a straight line across the fold, even though you felt that indentation. If you zoomed in real close, you might see a little bit of a bump or a groove where, where you made or placed that line. But overall, for what it was, it was really impressive. 
Now, when we look at the fold five, you do know that there is a line there, but it's a lot more subtle. I don't see it nearly as much, but most impressive when I go ahead and I use that S Pen, it really feels like I'm going across a single plane when I'm writing on it. And to me, that is a huge improvement for writing. Now, let's talk about writing with this device. The overall tip, if you compare them real closely between the two of them, you're gonna notice the actual tip is very, very similar, almost identical. It looks like the overall, I mean, I'm not no rocket scientist, we're just gonna call it the same, okay? It's the same tip. So the real question though is, does the change in this S Pen change your ability to be productive when you're using it in a note-taking app, such as OneNote, for example. Well, I'm in OneNote right now. I'm gonna go ahead and activate the highlighter here. I had a really, really incredibly long lunch today. Okay, that's really not the case. I don't even know why I planned for a two-hour lunch, but anyway, it's in there. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and erase that because that's not the truth. We're gonna go ahead and change that. We're gonna move that to a one-hour lunch, and we're gonna make sure that was at daily grind. And then we're gonna reblock that time here just by highlighting it. So you can see that overall my ability to go ahead and use this device, use this S Pen to write, really hasn't changed. Matter of fact, being able to write over that line is actually a small improvement. The other thing that I really like, the fact is I don't have that bump from the S Pen from the Fold 3 and 4, is I can easily change it to a landscape mode and write on it. So going ahead and writing here, how is your day? So other than OneNote, there's several different note-taking applications that you can use with this device. I recommend OneNote, I recommend Samsung Notes, and I recommend Penly. Those devices working with Android are remarkable for writing. And with OneNote, you can synchronize these notes across all your devices, Windows, Apple, and Android. With Samsung Notes, you can synchronize it across all of your Samsung devices. And with Penly, you can synchronize it across all of your Android devices. In an upcoming video, I'm also gonna show you those same applications and how they work on the Samsung S9 tab. And there's a couple of different variations to that, but the functionality of the applications on that tablet is absolutely remarkable. And it's gonna help you not only take notes, but be able to store and recall those notes for tomorrow, future weeks, and future years. Absolutely brilliant. So. Looking at this device, talking about some of the small improvements that we've seen. So the question that we're trying to answer here, is the Fold 5 worth the upgrade? And first off, if you're coming from a Fold 2 and never used a stylus and had a mobile device on your carry that you could take notes wherever you are, boom, 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 absolutely. Run to the store, pick it up today. You're gonna love it, promise you that. If you're coming from a 3 or a 4, that's where we start to ask some questions. And I'm gonna be the one to tell you first and foremost, those minor adjustments from the three to the five, definitely worth the upgrade. Coming from the four to five, if you're a tech guru like myself and just love having the latest and greatest, definitely go for it. If you're a heavy note taker and you're on the go constantly, I can promise you that this pen and the little bit of improvement that we see in the screen is definitely gonna make it's worth its weight in gold over the course of the next year or two that you might use it. Now, for all the disadvantages and things out there that we didn't see as upgrades, I don't use this device to use the front screen. Yes, I do make phone calls and I do check some messages on here, but I don't find myself in a mode of productivity. So the screen not being any wider is not really a real inconvenience to me because I find myself, whenever I'm in a mode of working, checking emails, responding to things, I'm in this folded display mode where I have a lot better access to being able to type and write and the split screen on here is absolutely amazing. If you've learned just one thing from this video, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel as we're gonna dive into this device and how you can really make a return, how you can really utilize these different applications for productivity and improve your daily planning or just note taking ability across this device and across the entire e-ink ecosystem. And if you wanna follow us and wanna learn more about our planner, go ahead, check out keysuccessplanner.com. Guys and gals, Lord willing, I will see each and every one of you in the next video. Peace to y'all.